What's up everybody, War here, and today I'm going to bring you what I think is just going to be a super fun build in Season 27, and that is the Tau Rasha Meteor build. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you guys know, Tau Rasha got a big rework for Season 27 that I'm actually very excited about when I do get to play my wizard. We are in softcore right now because the Season 26 is ending. Season 27 starts this Friday, guys. So we're just kind of testing some other things out. Now, I do want to point out that the Angelic Crucible, so the powers that come for Season 27, there's not one that specifically helps Meteor. Although, if you are going to take one, you do want to take the one where every time you do an elemental attack, it, it does the lightning strike down, and then 60 seconds after, you get to do another one. So, that's probably the best one to put on there. Otherwise, you don't necessarily need one. But... I have a build for you guys, so we're going to go in and do a GR90, and I just want to go over the build really quick. I think the build is just super fun, so let's get right into it, okay? You already know how we do these build videos. Um, this isn't completely final, guys, but I just want to kind of showcase this because the build is just so visually appealing. I mean, look at this. We are just casting all of the meteors down, destroying everything. I mean, it is fantastic. I wish I, wish I would have got a better board. But, uh, or like a better map. But the build is just so cool. I mean, it's going to be a fun build. Now, I will tell you this, guys. If you are playing Wizard next, uh, you know, season and, you know, you kind of want to play Tal Rasha's, it did get a buff. So I, I don't want that to discourage you from playing. Uh, Tal Rasha did get a buff, which is really nice, but it's not the strongest build that they have. So I do. Oh, 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 oh. We almost died there for a second. Would have been bad for the video. Uh, the build is not the strongest, although it's like visually appealing and to me, it's very fun to play. I need them to stop crowd controlling me. That is a big negative with this build. It's just like you just wizards just get crowd controlled so bad and it's it's just uh, it's kind of super annoying. But the build again, guys, it's not the strongest. It's a very fun build, visually appealing, super cool. Uh, I think some people, you know, if you have super high paragon, you can push the 120s and the 130s. Um, but otherwise, it's not going to do anything crazy, and it's also not the fastest build. That's the other thing that kind of sucks with it is besides the, the wormhole teleport that you have, it just doesn't um, get you around the map fast enough for it to really do, like, any kind of speed farming. You can do this, guys. Like, if I had some more Paragon and, you know, I had the entire... Whoa, a little lag spike there. If I had the entire build like augmented and all those things and had a you know a higher paragon, all ancient items, then yeah, I could probably push and, and speed farm a little bit better. Now we're kind of crushing this GR90 right now. It's not the fastest, but we are crushing it. So I do want you to keep that in mind. It's not the strongest build. It's definitely not gonna be anything crazy. Ooh, yes, we love this. We love this. Now, getting on to like parts of the build that are just really crazy is each elemental attack that you do is going to call down the meteors on top of you doing it. So that's why you see when I do spell, uh, black hole spell steel, it looks like a like an arcane meteor. Now, I do want to preface that even with the entire build and everything we have for this, it does cost a lot. So you want a lot of resource cost reduction on this build. It's definitely going to help you. Definitely going to help you. Otherwise, the build is pretty straightforward, guys. We kind of just cast meteors and we do our black hole just to kind of give us a bigger uh, damage buff temporarily. And we just run around. You kind of want to group these up. This build works very good if you can group up enemies. Again, guys, I'm sorry. I wish I could have got a better map. I should have just re-rolled it until I had, you know, a better map to give you guys, uh, which would have been really cool. So... But we basically just push two buttons. We use teleport to kind of get out of the way and kind of help group these you know, these monsters up. Look at that spell steal and just kind of crush down on these guys. Pretty easy there. I mean, this floor isn't as good either. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you guys, whenever I do GRs, I never have the good luck for doing GRs. I never get good floors. It's like every once every like 10, 10 GRs that I actually do. But look at this. We are just casting everything. It's so great. It's fantastic. Now, let's get on to the, the Rift Guardian, and you absolutely destroy. So we did this in, what, like three and a half minutes? 
I mean, it's not bad considering the build just doesn't have a whole lot of stuff. We actually have our gem on here that's not even upgraded because we didn't have it for the for the build. But we have it now, so there we go. All right, let's go in and check out all the items that you're going to need for the build, guys, if you're looking at building this inside of Season 27. Look, we did three and a half minutes. It's not bad. It's not the fastest. We definitely want to be faster. We don't want to be... We want to keep that in between two to three minutes for this build. But again, I don't have ancient items. Nothing's augmented, etc. So let's get into it. All right. So you need the Talrasha set, guys. As always, this is going to help you with your entire stacks. Uh, all your attacks increase your damage. And then at four stacks, you get more and increases the duration. So, But the biggest thing out of this is that when you're calling down meteors, it helps reduce cooldown, which is fantastic. So Talrasha, boom. Okay, we're gonna pair this with the Algdul set just for reduced and increased damage, which is great. Then we have Mempo, Mempo of Twilight, which Meteor Shower Rune is now applied and it casts all meteors uh, increased damage. Now this one's kind of hard to tell, so when you're actually casting, you get the damage buff on those, but I still can't tell if you get the increased damage to ones that are just auto casted. So guys, let me know down in the comments if you can, if, you know, if that's on there or not. I can't really tell. Uh, and then, of course, we pair it with Convention of Elements for more damage. And then Halo for just um, damage reduction. That way we have more survivability. Another big item that you need for the build, guys, is the, the Nilfer's Boast. Increases the damage of Meteor. And then when you hit three or few enemies, it increases it even more. So fantastic. All right. On to our weapon. Most people have the Grand Visor as their main weapon, which recruit reduces the arcane cost uh, of Meteor by 50%, which is great. And then they put Smoldering Core in the cube. I had the opposite. I didn't have one, so I just flipped them for this build video. But uh, the Smoldering Core is the one you know, that you're going to want because enemies are now lured to the Meteor Impact and they deal increased damage, okay? It stacks 10 times. So this is fantastic. If you want to swap them, either way, it's fine. Uh, I think the Grand Visor is cooler uh, if you have it out, but it works the same. Okay, uh, as our gems, guys, we have Bane of the Stricken because we're just hitting multiple meteor attacks, so we get more damage. Once you get this upgraded, uh, you know, the Asteric Alteration, you know, you get the big damage resistances and then physical resistance is great because wizards are squishy. Uh, and then, of course, Bane of the Trapped, fantastic. Okay, into the cube, we have the Grand Visor instead of Smoldering Core. We just went over. We have the Shame of Delzir, so our signature spells attack faster and replenish uh, arcane power we don't really have a signature attack per se um, but you can change that and put that on there for um, like magic missile and do that I should have swapped this and put the mempho in here and then just added the Tau Rasha helmet so if you want to do it that way you can otherwise swap spell steel for like magic missile glacial spike uh, and then of course we're over in grand door because of the uh, sets on to our skills Again, guys, Black Hole Spell Steel is great for just grouping them up and giving us increased damage. If you are going to run the uh, Shame of Delzir, uh, swap it for uh, Magic Missile. Of course, Meteor, no rune, because we get the Meteor Shower rune from the set. Uh, so, Or from the, which item is it? Uh, it's uh, the Mempho. So we have no rune. This also allows us to nonstop cast Meteor. Now, there is some builds that you can do with this where you put... Uh, star impact on there which drains all of your arcane power and you deal a crap ton more damage so that's totally up to you if you want to build it that way uh teleport to get around storm armor for lightning and just increase defense magic weapon conduit which gives us uh arcane power and it restores our arcane power every time a meteor hits which is fantastic because this stuff costs a lot, man. I mean, 40 or 20 a pop and you're nonstop spamming. It drains this. So this is really great with a uh, magic weapon. And then familiar icicle. So it shoots out and potentially freezes, which helps us with meteors. Into our passives, we have audacity with uh, cooldown reduction and ast astral presence for increased arcane power and regen. Uh, galvanizing ward for uh, shield protection and then elemental exposure just to help deal more damage. That is Tel Rasha Meteor build, guys. The build is absolutely crazy. It's super fun. So 
hopefully if you guys are playing wizards this season i hope this is something that you enjoy and just kind of try out just to have some fun with again it's not the strongest build but it is super cool and very pleasing to the eye for uh, all the meteors just being cast on the screen so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like as it does help me out if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe all the support you guys have been giving me is fantastic so we are just doing our best to pump out as much content for you guys as possible so thank you guys so much again and as always stay gaming we'll catch you guys in the next one peace